Ah, don't you just love the RGB goodness, guys? Don't you really just love it? I don't really wish that there was some way in which we could have these fans and this RAM sync with, let's just say, these. And now there is. Stay tuned. So as you guys can probably see by now, we're hitting the RGB nail right on the head and driving that fucker home, so to speak. But anyway, we have new fans. And why so many fans, so, so many fans, Ed, do you ask? Well, it's not just generally about the fans. You know, the fans do play a key role within, of course, the the whole fluidity of colour that is within, of course, my case. But the real thing here is why you stop at the fans, you know? they've There's 240mm SP, SP140s in there as it is with static red colour. But why just why just stop there? You know, you've got the exhaust fan as well. I want to be able to sync up all of these lights and effects and everything else. And of course with the Commander Pro that we can see over here and the Vengeance RGB edition, which I might just add, wow, looks lovely as it is. So we're just gonna get these unboxed anyway. But yes, this generally is an unboxing video guys, as you guys have come perfectly well aware that the channel does now. So we are going to this is um DDR4 spec as you can quite clearly see 3000 megahertz so let's hope let's hope that my motherboard can run it because there's been issues and everything else where some motherboards can and some motherboards can't so hopefully my motherboard can because my motherboard should be able to but yes there we go vengeance RGB edition it really does look very very nice as it is can't wait to see it in action i have seen videos and everything else previously but yes we have a few things to further unbox as it is we've got the commander pro which is going to sync up everything very very nicely it's quite a beast of a unit to be honest with you um, as you can see there it links all that stuff and everything else so i've got of course no pro rgb in there i've got one set of hd 120s and <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zed's caught the uh, the RGB bug. Zed's caught the RGB bug again. So let's get this sorted. Let's get this out. Oh my God! We are presented with paperwork, ladies and gentlemen. Paperwork. Uh, ooh, lovely. I love instructables. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. That's future reading. What's this? Yeah, okay, lovely. Okay, we don't care about the paperwork. So, let's see what we have here. This is the beast that we are dealing with. This is not how you should definitely open this, but hey, it's the way that I've seen to find best to open these things. So, ah, tear it apart. Tear it. Come on. There we go. Ooh, stickers. Ooh, stickers. Fun times with stickers. Um, Sheldon Cooper had fun with flags, Zed has uh, stickers, yeah, fun with stickers, yes, yes, great, um, anyway, yeah, get off. So, we have got along the bottom here, enough for six fans, which funnily enough, one, two, three, yes, that's exactly however many fans I will have going into here, so we'll be replacing the old hub, we've got two LED things, no pro things for the no pro which is good and also on the flip side we have got four temperature sensors four and two usbs which is good everything's going to fit into there and also 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 uh oh the battery light is flashing we get stuff inside the box so we get an extension for the rgb we also get four temperature sensors yes yes temperature sensors i <laughs> I love temperatures. <laughs> and of course we then have got the fan extenders as well, just in case. Now, you guys pretty much know what's inside these. What the hell was that? That dog was going absolutely crazy outside. Shut up. Yes. We have fans here, so kind of rushing this just now. Because uh, oh, no. Ah. Oh damn it. I ripped the box. I don't like it when the box rips. But yes, this is pretty much going to be applicable. 
It won't come out. What is it not coming out for? Help. Yeah, there we go. Wow. That's a big fan. That is a huge fan. Is that going to fit in? Yes, of course it'll fit in and everything else. So, yes, this is. That's one. As I say, everybody's seen a fan before. So, yes. And you guys. You guys are all my fans anyway. So, happy days. Happy days. Right. And again. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that packaging. Ripped. Ripped. I am heartbroken. Very heartbroken. And there we go. That's the second 140ml fan. And then finally. Hope you saw that nice. nice side. Right. Let, let's let's not rip this one out. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Ow. No, 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 no. Aha. Yes, control. Control right there. That was good. No ripping of the packaging. And there we go. Look at the size difference between them guys. Look at the size difference. Bloody hell. Blooming Nora! <laughs> but anyway, this is what's going inside of Red Z. The upgraded edition, shall we say. So we do, of course, have the Corsair Link as well. And 3000 megahertz full-on RGB RAM. You can see that just there. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Do not forget to subscribe, like the video, and of course, leave a comment down below if you do have any further questions for me. Secondly, would you like to see a second part to this? I can do an installation part if you'd like, but as I say, as for now, the video's long enough. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and as always, Z out.